Sweet. Sure thing. Just what you said about Nat. I've been going over it again and again in my head, and what you said. I can't was risk right. her turning out like me and losing her completely. It's just sometimes it feels like the only things I've got in life are Nat and the. Having paper. someone I can count on, someone like you. It's meant a lot to me. Not a lot of people want to hang around with a nosy reporter. Yeah. You're my kind of nosy. <laughs> You're the exception. I haven't exactly made a lot of friends in this career. I just wanted to write the things I thought were wrong. And when Nat and I first got to Diamond City, there was a lot of wrong. Cards, lousy infrastructure. <laughs> there was a hole in the exterior wall that was patched over with a bookcase. One bookcase. I started the paper That's it. more as an act of desperation than anything else. Turned out I wasn't the only one who wanted things After to After the change. first couple of editions, people may not have agreed with what I said, but everyone was listening. Sounds like you really cleaned up Diamond City. Well, a lot of things got done. They even put a second bookshelf over that hole and patched it with when bricks. When that first edition hit the stands, I felt like I'd finally done something worth doing. But afterwards, things... things People changed. didn't want to talk the way they used to. It seemed that overnight I'd gone from being Piper, friend and confidant, to Piper, the nose. A lot of folks, they haven't treated me the same since. It started to feel like the only person I could count on was my little sis. You can count on me, Piper. I know I can. You're not afraid of me like everyone else. I was sure that the paper would be the best thing I ever did in my life, but being here with you now. now I needed I someone like you in my life for a long time, Blue. I just never expected I'd actually get thank you for being the friend I can count on. It sounds to me like you're interested in becoming more than just oh, friends. Oh, I, I mean, <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I never thought about you that way. Not that I'm always thinking it's just that way. Blue, I'm loud and pushy and constantly getting in on Why would someone like you ever want someone like me? You don't need to be flawless, Piper. You're perfect for perfect, me. Perfect, huh? <laughs> that's, uh, that's a new one. Well... <clears throat> well, I think you're perfect, too. <laughs> Goodness, Blue, I... I don't know what to say. You're everything I could ever Come ask on. for. Let's not keep the world...
Over here. Tricks on me again. I need to find a card. 